What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. We're talking about Scream 6 in this video here again today. Talking about uh, Dermot Moroni and this new interview that came out um, from, I believe it was Pop Turnative. And he was just a very excited. He seemed very excited about his upcoming participation in Scream 6. We're also going to talk about my thoughts on a lot of these things I'm seeing discussed about Samara Weaving and... This thing that popped up online uh, that I'm going to just basically come out and say don't really trust it too much because it came from Wikipedia. But the running theme right now, going back to Dermont, is that he may have potentially, I've gotten like several DMs where people seem to think that Dermont almost had a slip like Mikey almost had a slip who we know ended up being the killer in Screen 5 during this interview. He's so enthused about what he's getting to do in Scream 6 that when you're listening to him in this clip, you'll hear him. He has a moment where he's like, he, I'm so excited to, do, to be the, uh, 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 the, the role. And it's like to be to be the what? The killer? <laughs> it's the way he's saying it, that people are thinking back to when Mikey Madison had an interview with um, I think Sonya was present with her. And she was like, she was describing Amber. She was about to say, Amber is a, uh, and then Sonya's looking at her and then she corrects herself because she didn't say killer. She didn't say that. And Dermot didn't say that either, but people are kind of just matching w with how he's talking here and the way he was slipping up, almost like he was catching himself to not spoil his identity in the upcoming movie, which it's nice to see how excited he is. He, But he yes, did say that the role he has in the franchise, it's so fun and funny and awfully bloody. He said, holy crap, they don't hold back and neither do we in Scream 6. So as far as like, other things he said, I know he mentioned that he caught up recently with Screen 4 and Screen Screen 4 and Screen 5, I guess, in preparation of Screen 6. Now, two things. That either says that he has a significant role in the movie, if you want to go that route, or it means that as a fan of the series, having watched the first three, since you're now participating in the sixth one, and to prepare yourself to maybe take on whatever role it is they have offered you, because we know he's going to play a cop. You just decided to prepare by watching the movies you haven't seen, which I guess were Screen 4 and Screen 5, which is fine. A lot of people have different methods, I would imagine, for how they prepare for roles they take on. So I do also want to note this. I have had people also point out to me, I've pointed out recently in a group chat, that it's funny how Dermot is the only person outside of the new outside of the returning OGs, not returning OGs, but old, the returning survivors from Screen 5 from Woodsboro. He's the only newbie that has a brief description that he's a cop. The only one. Everyone else, we know their names of who the actors are and actresses are. We didn't get anything really about who they were. But we know Demond is supposed to be a cop. So I know that's raised a lot of questions because everyone's looking for that Debbie Salt. Where is Debbie Salt in this movie? Are we going to get a Debbie Salt? Is someone going to be going around parading as one thing but really turn out to be another? We'll ultimately get that answer when we see the movie in March. So I just hope, and I know some people have already said that he could be a Dewey replacement or he could be Dewey substitute. I think I've touched on this briefly being Gail's new love interest. I believe Gail should have a new love interest, not necessarily something where she's fully committed to it, but somebody can show interest in her. She's a little bit apprehensive and it could be something that kind of blossoms over time. I would love for it to be this character. If he is, of course, a cop that ends up being a likable character to Gail. Gail sees that he's interested and they can kind of blossom that and flesh that out here and in Scream 7 if of course he makes it to Scream 7 and Gail doesn't have to commit to a love interest right away. She could very much so be cold to them. Not necessarily be rude or anything but apprehensive and not really wanting to commit to it just yet. Maybe we get something where she commits to it at the end of the movie. I don't know. But as far as like Samara Weaving, I've seen people talk about Samara Weaving being Liv McKenzie's sister. Liv McKenzie, who we know was a who was a relative of the McKenzies mentioned in the first movie. She appeared in Screen 5, Chad's girlfriend. Liv having a sister, I don't really care too much for that. Um, I've also seen the idea of Liv McKenzie having a sister played by Samara who would out, who'd be out for revenge. I'm not against that. 
it just would also come down to, I guess, what other things are in place here. Because that's just that's just live. How do like I want to see how maybe they are going to address that to Sam, because I think if you're upset about live, wouldn't you go after Chad and Mindy primarily? That's just me. Um, but Samara could be playing anyone. She could be playing. Let's let's say that Sam Carpenter, who we know went through a lot in screen five and she's gone through a lot. Uh, we know she was on meds at some point. What if she is in therapy and has a doctor of sorts that she visits? Could Samara be her? Could Samara be a support source for Sam in that role? Maybe she, again, could be something very minor like that, but still something very significant because of the role she has in a much more significant character's life. Uh, and I've also talked about how Samara could be a, a friend of Sam outside of just, of course, being like a doctor to her or something, a friend she knows from the streets of New York or from some type of job Sam has in New York while Tara goes to school. Or Samara could be playing somebody who's a college student or somebody who works on the campus, something like that. She could be playing so many different people. The whole Liv McKenzie thing being related to her i'm not really for that i'm not against it i do see the similarities people people have pointed out between the actresses and why they think that maybe the writers saw it and gave live a sister <laughs> based off of that we'll see if that ends up being true when scream 6 comes out in march but again people were just picking up on how dermot and kind of i guess the uh the brief stumble there and correction might have been a correction of them trying to not admit their own real big significance being Ghostface because Mikey did the same thing and it ended up being the case when the movie came out so we'll see if that's the case here with Dermot or not but uh we'll also see what role Samara will have when the movie comes out hopefully we don't really have to wait till then I'm dying to know who she's playing I want to know what role she has and what all these other newbies have but we'll know sooner or later if you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to them if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.